Good morning, Bill. Hey, good morning. How are we doing? How you doing? Uh, good. Good. Uh, gave the gave the players the weekend off. Um, what are you hoping to see when you guys get back together tomorrow? Uh, yeah, start getting ready for Arizona, and uh, it's a team we don't know very well. Uh, explosive team and um, NFC team, so they just don't see very much of them. So uh, get familiar with them and uh, continue to you know, tighten up things on our end. Bill, now that you had a chance to look at that game film against the Buffalo Bills, you guys seem like you did a really good job of keeping Josh Allen in the pocket. There weren't many of those broken plays or even big design runs where he was able to rip off a bunch of yardage. But what do you think were some of the issues that ultimately led to you from a defensive standpoint to maybe putting yourself in a position where you lost that football game? Uh, we need to do a better job on third down and in the red area. Those be the two big things. Bill, while getting ready for Arizona, when you look at this team, uh, both with and without DeAndre Hopkins, what does he bring to this to this team that's going to be really hard to go against uh, come Sunday? Yeah, well, Hopkins is a tough matchup player. Um, he's long. He's got tremendous hands and catching ability, uh, you know, right up there with the top of the guys that, you know, have, have played or, or that I've coached against. Um, so he's a he's a mismatched player and very, very productive. Bill, when you look at this game against the Cardinals, uh, um, I'm not 100% sure if Kyler Murray is a go-go, but it seems like just in, you know, some recent games when you get quarterbacks that have the capability like Lamar Jackson or Justin Fields that have that capability of making plays with their legs, um, Kyler Murray has that ability. What do you guys got to make sure that you do not to allow him, if he does play, to make big plays with his legs? All right. Well, as always, it comes down to discipline defense, and there's no one man that can stop um, Jackson or Josh Allen or Murray, whoever those type players are. It's They, they can do a lot of different things. Um, so it's good team defense. And uh, playing with good good awareness, good leverage, um, good discipline, and and obviously good tackling. Once you get a chance to, uh, once you get a chance to get them. Bill Kendrick Bourne said after that game Thursday night, we need to scheme up better. Um, have have you spoken to him about that? And is there some frustration when it comes to players on this team with the with the essentially the the scheme offensively? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, we work through the schemes every week, uh, depending on who we play and, and so forth. So, um, yeah. Bill, we, ha- we do that. We scheme up every week. We, we run our schemes every week. I'm not really sure about that. Bill, having this much time off between Thursday and then playing on Monday, obviously you guys have to travel. Uh, how does the week kind of shake up to make sure that you have the guys prepared and ready to go, but also giving them enough rest to, to recoup from, from Thursday? Right. Well, that's uh, that, that's the three days that um, we've had, actually four, uh, count Friday. I mean, Friday was pretty, you know, everybody's pretty worn out after Thursday night. But, um, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, today for the players, and then we'll come back and get to work tomorrow. So we'll, we'll kind of be back on a normal week um, once they come back. But uh, at this point in the year, I think players can use a uh, few extra days to, you know, get over the bumps and bruises and, and uh, like I said, just come up with a new outlook, fresh outlook here on, uh, on, on Arizona. Bill, do you guys plan on, obviously, I know you don't want to look ahead, but you guys play Arizona and then you play in Vegas. Is is the plan just to stay down there uh, or stay on uh, uh, on the on the left coast? Is it to stay down there? And if so, what's that like uh, preparing uh, for games when you know that you're going to be basically away from home for you know, almost you know, seven or two weeks on the road? Right. Yeah, we'll be about uh... – what, eight days. Uh, so, yeah, that's we've done that before. And, and um, you know, Vegas is a team that we have some familiarity with from, from preseason. We spent time with them out there, but uh, at the same time, 
a lot of things have changed um, and for them and us since uh, back in August. So, um, you know, we'll start to work on, on uh, again, we have different people on our staff doing different things. So some people move ahead and, and other people uh, stay and focus on the game that we have and then, you know, catch up after the game. So kind of be on our normal uh, cycle there. Bill, you said that, you know, you scheme up every week in response to uh, Greg's question about Kendrick Bourne. I was just curious over the weekend or at all, has there been any thought to changing up the offensive play caller or the, the system that you've been using through the first uh, 12 weeks of the season? Yeah, I think we need to do what we're doing better. Um, yeah, I don't think at this point making a lot of dramatic changes is, is it's too hard to do that. We we need we're, If we can just do consistently what we were doing, uh, we'll, I think we'll be all right. But we just haven't been able to have enough consistency. And, um, you know, and that's hurt us. It's not one thing. It's just one time it's one thing. Next time it's something else. We just have to, we just have to play more consistent, play and coach more consistently. I know. I I think in September you said to the Globe that if the you know if you looked at the Patricia Judge experiment that if that didn't work, that that you would be to blame. Are you are you how are you feeling about the way that has worked so far? Yeah. Well, I'm responsible. You know, I'm responsible for uh, you know our team's performance. So I accept that. Mac Jones, after the game, has said that he would like to be coached harder. He said he needs to play better, but he's he would also like to be coached harder. How do you make sure that uh, whoever your quarterback is, they're getting what they need to give their best on the field? Yeah, well, we coach everybody the best we can every week. Uh, that's not going to change. Bill you, Bill, you talk about consistency, and usually generally when you think about consistency, it's, you know, you, you, you say, okay, is it a lack of focus at times that's allowing us not be able to play consistent, or is it poor te- technique? When you're watching film and you're trying to figure out, okay, why are you uh, so, so inconsistent at so many different times, are you noticing, is it one or the other, or is it just a combination of both? Yeah, we got to spend a little bit of a combination of things, um, you know, on on every every front, really. Coaching, playing, you know, penalties. Uh, you know, we've had some high penalty games, and then we've had some low penalty games, and so that's you know we've had some turnover games, and then we've had some no turnover games, um, and so forth. So, you know, it's it just it hasn't always been the same problem or has been the same problem on, on certain plays. Sometimes that's shifted. Um, and some, you know, there's certainly been some plays that haven't matched up well against the defense when they were called. So uh, whether that's the design of the play or, uh, you know, the way it hit against a certain defense, then, you know, those, those have come up as well. So, yeah, that's a combination of things. Uh, Bill, Mac Jones was visibly frustrated late in that game against the Bills, uh, and he's been under a lot of duress this season in terms of pass rush and, and seems to have taken a bit of a step back from where we saw him at points last year. Are you worried about Mac's progression at all as we go forward here? Uh, well, I, mean, I think we're all, we certainly all like to be doing better uh, than, than what we're doing um, from a record standpoint and from a you know, individual execution, but, you know, we're going to look ahead, not backwards, and, and I'll, you know, look towards the next opportunity here against Arizona and get back on track this week. So uh, I think that's all the people I've talked to, players, coaches, I think we're all feel the same way about that. We can't control what's already happened. What we can control is what's in front of us. All right, Bill. Well, thanks as always for taking the time, and we will talk to you again next week. Okay, yep, sounds good. All right. There's Bill Belichick. Okay. (laughs) 